welcome to the Schmodown, the World Championship. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Schmodown, the World Championship of Movie Trivia. I'm Mark Ellis. This is the one, the only, Batman fan extraordinaire, Winston A. Marshall. The swaggy blurred is here joining me on the answer desk. Hello, sir. We're celebrating Batman. Uh, we, we have to. I mean, Batman's in theaters on March 4th. Yeah. Like, March 4th. It's here. That's almost. like tomorrow. I'm so excited for this movie, by the way. I am ecstatic for this movie. Almost okay. three hours. It's, well, I'm not as ecstatic for that. Oh, I would see it for six hours. I have a tiny bladder. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to pee itself. I'm going to see this movie multiple times because two large popcorns and a whole bunch of diet soda is going to do that to you. You got your tickets opening night? Uh, I do. I'm very excited about it. My girlfriend, not so much. Got an extra one if you don't want to go. I would love to have you there, man. Uh, I, I, I actually would love to get the ticket to Molly the Wonder Dog first, if that's okay, if she's, if she's available. She's much cuter than me. Fair enough. So why are we here talking Batman? You might be wondering. Well, because we have a Batman exhibition match honoring the release of The Batman, which, like Winston said, is in theaters March 4th. And we have two of the best we've ever seen, really, in any Schmodown division, particularly the world of inner geekdom, which tends to ask a lot of Bat-centric questions. That would be none other than Mike the Killer Kalinowski and Kevin the Smasher Smets. What do you make of these two titans of the inner geekdom division now facing off in a batman all match i mean every time they step in the ring together absolute fireworks go off i mean it has been nothing but knockout drag out fights that it would make you think that these two gentlemen would actually potentially hate each other but apparently they're not so you know bad as friends they agreed to play in this match and so we'll try to keep it copacetic because we are here honoring the bat guy bruce we i probably shouldn't say hey, that hey 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 secret identity bro batman and here we go let's get ready for the introductions i'm doing them today <laughs> from the desk because it's time to schmo down introducing first he is Known as the Smasher, one of the greatest inner geekdom players of all time. And I hear he owns property in Gotham City. Kevin, the Smasher Smash. And there is Kevin Smith going. Somebody told Kaiser to show. Oh, God. Who invited the trash panda? Is that great? Winston. Okay. Wow, that was actually very sweet of Kaiser to call me out. I wasn't expecting that. I was going to say, I know there's bad blood between Spets and Kalinowski, but now I'm going to have to keep <laughs> you stable and up here while uh, your bitter blood rivals up there managing Kevin the Smasher Smets. He looks ready to go, and uh, his opponent we're about to meet. Known as the killer uh, and one of the there. great oh. inner geekdom players of all time as well. He might even have a shiny belt or two to brag about. He is Mike. The Killer Kalinowski! Oh! And there is the Queen of Corruption and Mike of Corruption. There's that inner geekdom champion belt, the classic Mike Kalinowski style. I know, I mean, you know, but it's funny. He kind of reminds me uh, a, a little oh, bit more see? of uh, Dr. Elliot than, uh, than Bruce. Oh. He's got a little bit of an, an evil okay. twang to yeah. him, if you will. There he is. Yeah. I mean, oh, he both, oh, I see what you doing there. The queen of corruption, not a fan of a very Kaiser. Very woman. All Shannon Barney walking did, Mike Kellen out. Did Shannon just bring a bag like the Joker to rob the joint? Yeah, I mean, I Lord oh, seems right. to be a lot of just uh, negativity all around. But um, may I say something first before we get started here? I think you oh, will, regardless wow. of my permission. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, the Smasher, get over here. Let's go. It's been a little while, my friend. Let's right. go. Let's go. Get over You're here. Trying to keep this. Uh, yeah, you got the hood again. You oh, and I wow. back on this. Well, guess what? My friend, it has been a long time since you and I have been on the stage again. It's good to see you here. So I'm going to use a line from the very underrated Batman and Robin. So let me ask you, Kevin. Partner, friend, brother. Will you wear this cowl with me? You know it. Are they really putting on Batman? I, I, man, I'm kind of jealous. I didn't, I didn't bring mine. I'm actually very upset They're now. They're teaming up. Ow! Mike with Gil Kalinowski okay. and Kevin the Smasher. We're doing why, why do they Try both? Try not to have a heat stroke, boys. Why do they both look like Lego Batman? 
they really do look like the Will Arnett Batman. This is Mike Kalinowski and Kevin Spetz. And I should point out, they both have stable lives and women who love them. <laughs> yeah. ah. Somehow I'm still single, Winston. Hey. Go figure. Well, it looks, sounds like we need to get you a rubber mask. Yeah, that'll, well, we'll uh, uh, solve your problem. Work on that rubber something or other. So we have Kevin uh, Batman Smets and Mike Batman Kalinowski Where? here. Here is how round number one works. It's going to be eight Batman. questions spanning the entire Batman cavalcade of films. 15 seconds to get a response. A correct answer will get you a point. We're talking to Batman. This is so much fun. You each have three <laughs> repeats throughout the match. Are you all ready to get going? Starting with you, the Smasher. I can't hear anything out of this, but yes, I'm ready. Bat Smasher is ready. How about Bat Killer? The Killer Bat? I think I made a terrible mistake wearing this thing during this match, but yes, I'm ready. Oh, let's but get ready to Schmodown! Question number one in. Round number one will be administered by the great Winston Marshall. Question one in the category. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you got a little bat in your throat. A little bat in my throat, I apologize. Uh, question one comes from the category of mixed bag. Mixed bag. Who plays the role of Two-Face in Batman Forever opposite Val Kilmer? Great yeah. film, man. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I remember getting excited for it and then just feeling like, ah, is that, is that? yeah. It's no. Better I, than Batman and Robin. <laughs> I mean, well, Five, uh, that's four, no joke. Three, two. One. When's the last time you watched this thing? Pets down. It's probably getting a little gamey in there. Uh, Spets. Tommy Lee Jones. Is correct, Dan Mike. I'm going to show that not everyone in this city is as dirty as you are. Tommy Lee Jones. I uh, got it. <laughs> Someone pick up that thing. Yeah. I lost my marker. <laughs> in the process. That's why Shannon Barney, one of the best managers in the business. Your next question comes to you in the category of bat technology. And the question, in what Batman film will you find the bat credit Card financed by Goth Card. Yeah, I definitely thought it was MasterCard when I saw it the first time. Yeah, so it, did I. That shocked me. Yeah, couldn't get the rights. I, I guess not, but considering it was one giant advertisement, Five, four, really surprised MasterCard three, to get on board. Two, one. Pens down. We're going to you first, Mike. Did you know that my expiration date is forever? <laughs> Batman and Robin. <laughs> do that voice the whole match, I think. Spets? Batman and Robin. He got that one. It is two to two. All right, question number three comes from the world of The Dark Knight Rises. In The Dark Knight Rises, it is revealed that Marion Cotier's real name is Talia Al Ghul. What was the fake name she was using for the majority of the film? Uh, so, Nolan's trilogy, beloved. Uh -huh. How do you feel about that closing chapter? I mean, I really enjoyed it. I, and, you know, if you haven't been watching the Batman rewatches on the Big Thing, you should totally do that because we will talk about it. That's a pro. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. Did Kevin have it? Miranda Tate. Nailed it. And Mike? Did you see when she stuck her knife inside me and turned it? Miranda <laughs> Tate. Yeah, a lot of people saw that movie, Bruce. I think we, uh, I think we all saw it. Your next question is in the category of villains. What? Villains. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you. Your question. David Thewlis reprises his role as what god in Zack Snyder's Justice League? Oh, this is a hot topic of debate, too. Snyder it. Cut, you in? Oh, yes, but it was one of those things that I, I know Mike has seen it like 50 times. I could only do it once. Four hours is a long time, my friend. Four, three, two, one. Try four hours with this voice. Mike? <laughs> they say he's the god of war, but then he says he's the god of truth. Is it Ares? It is Ares. <laughs> it's indeed Ares. He always seems out of breath. Ares, the god of war. And he even had the god of war there, too. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, for that. So we go back to Winston. All right. Gentlemen, this next category comes from the world of actors and actresses. Which actor plays Robin in Batman's first ever film from 1966, Batman the Movie? All right, so we're going back in time to the 66 Batman. There's no way that Kalinowski can do that voice for the 1966 Batman question. I right? am really hoping he gives us a good Adam uh, West impression. Four, three, two, one. His opening act, Kevin Smith. <laughs> it's really good to be back. Thank you. Uh, Burt Ward. Is correct. I hate to do it. Mike? Did you know that this man and I on the set hey, that's had not bad. competition of size of codpiece? Oh boy, who won? <laughs> Burt Ward. Okay. Holy well endowed, Batman. Yeah. 
Burt Ward taking the uh, taking the victory from Sharkspray over there. Your next <laughs> question is in the category of heroes, which you both are in your own way. <laughs> Here's the question for a point. Which actor plays Commissioner Gordon in the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy? Uh, now he's going right back. I think he's lacking back in the character. Oh, a thousand percent. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a hockey pants reference at some point or another. I, you know, but I'm here for it. I mean, I, I just I feel bad. Four. How is Mike going to be able Three. to like work after Two. this? His voice is going to be gone. One, get some herbal tea there. Uh, let's go to you, Mike. I don't have any funny joke for this one because it's Gary Oldman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a pretty serious guy. Kevin Smets. Now we are two. Gary Oldman. Okay. Yeah, he's huh? seen like that. Huh? Okay. Smets is being bit by the bug, too. Oh, no, it's rubbing off. It's spreading. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, your next category comes from the world of movie quotes. In the Lego Batman movie, Batman's life lesson number two is vigilantes don't have what? I'll tell you what. Oh, For looks like I mind. might get you on this one. <laughs> One of the best Batman, as far as like the the pathos of Batman, yeah. it really gets deep into the character, even as it's making a lot of jokes. Great. Oh, though. I'm sweating now. <laughs> Damn it. Four, three, two. We're in a leather jacket one. on a hot day. Pens down. Let's go to Spence. Uh, families. Is incorrect for the lead, Mike. Is it bedtimes? It is bedtime. That's right. And wow. Wow. With that, the deep voice Mike Kalinowski takes a one-point lead yeah, over the sleep. sane Kevin Smets. And we yeah. go to your final question Damn in it. round number one. Here it is. Here we go. It's from Batman 1989. <sighs> and it is. In Batman 1989, the final battle between Batman and the Joker takes place at what type of location? Do you want the exact name? It just the location is fine, but thank you for asking. I bet it'll still give us the full location. You know what's fun? The managers have actually I'm bonded done. off screen because oh. they both have to deal with these people. I mean, Five, it's a lot, four, man. It's a lot. Three. Isn't it nice being on the desk? Two, this is lovely. One. Pens down. Let's go to you first, Mike. Did you see when I tripped over the pew and knocked them <laughs> down and I had to go all those stairs? Yeah, Gotham okay. Cathedral. That, that will work. Smith? Cathedral. That cathedral, cathedral we go. will accept it. So with that, that I gotta is take this a mask off. perfect oh, round number one fan. as Smets goes down. <laughs> oh, Smets is oh, making the down mask off. Goes I'm down. We all down goes Smets. Down goes Smets. Why did you take the mask off? <laughs> well, that's because Smets' round number one is done, but Mike's isn't quite yet because he was perfect. Oh. So he gets a bonus question as just to him. Here it is. All right. Here we go. You can just answer this, Mike. No I need to write, to write it write down. In Justice League. What is the name of Steppenwolf's idiots? Those were the people that got turned into things that flew. Look at they're called Parademons. I'm really worried that Mike is having Your trouble breathing, yeah, but I, he is correct. He is correct. Thoughts and prayers to Chan and Barney and Indy the Wonder Dog. That is going to be a rough night. It's like sleep apnea while awake. He's going to be answering Batman questions in that voice in his sleep, and he currently takes a two-point lead into round number two, the wheel round. Each player, each bat gets a spin at that wheel. They'll be asked four questions from the category that they do settle on. It is... Mr. Kalinowski, yeah. who has the right to spin first or defer to your opponent, how do you want to play it, Bruce? Have you smelled the inside of this? Of course <laughs> I have. Disgusting. You, tough guy. Get on up there, let's see what you got. Let's do it. He's deferring. Can I stand next to you, though? To no. Okay. You stay there. I think Smets won the match by just taking the mask I, off and just getting to breathe again. I'm just saying, look, his skin is just a glistening right now. So yeah. I can That's why imagine. I missed that question. That's the only reason. <laughs> yeah, I blame the heat. <laughs> all right, the spin, here it is. Look at all of those lovely bad key slices. Ten. Wow. Key ten. Ben no. Affleck. Affleck. Mm -hmm. Affleck. Spinning again. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like they're good. It was Affleck. We respun. Respawn, and he goes to the Rogues Rogue Gallery. gallery. I don't Rogues know Gallery. This will be interesting. I have zero idea what that means. I, yeah, I, I'm with Kaiser. I'm not sure exactly what Rogues Gallery entails, but I have a feeling Winston Marshall does, so I will allow you to ask What's the up? questions <laughs> to Kevin Smets. Now, keep in mind, any question that Smets misses, Kalinowski can steal, and then when it's Kalinowski's turn, he misses a question, Smets could steal. So Smets, four questions for two points apiece. If he needs multiple choice, he can ask us. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one.
Absolutely. All right. So your first question, Senor Smets, in Rogue's Gallery slash Villains. Okay. In the Dark Knight, how many total criminals are seen assaulting the bank wearing their painted clown masks? That's five, including the Joker. That is incorrect. <laughs> five. All right. Challenge. Mike, Challenge. Uh, There's it's no five. They think it's six, but it's five because the Joker's with them the whole time. Five, final answer. Hold on. He would know. You're this Happy, DC. dopey, grumpy, chuckles, bus driver, Joker. I think that's six. For the steal, Mike Kalinowski, your final answer? Yes. Is? Six. That is correct. It, it is, is indeed six. Is, it is the bus driver. Indeed six. Wow. Right? I didn't put the, okay. You gotta count the bus driver. You gotta pay the mascot. <laughs> Always know who you're fighting. You should have stuck with Affleck. Is what I should have done. <laughs> Question number two. I feel like we're just getting in the way of a great improv session here. <laughs> I, I literally just want to let them go. He's but yes, I anding me. That's improv. Yes, and. <laughs> well, yes, and. Well, and your second question. Thank you. Which actor? Voices the role of the villainous Two Face in the Lego Batman movie. Billy D. Williams. Right every time. <laughs> he could do that for the rest of the time. That's right, cool so 45. He said yeah. he stuck to us. Smets is on the board. It is 11 to 9. Straight Still in up. favor of Kalinowski, but yeah. Smets looking to tie with his third four question. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, question number three. A villain has made his hideout in Arctic World of the abandoned old zoo in which Batman film? You better know this. You better know this. <laughs> this was my last match. Batman Returns. It was my last match. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. I, I, it's funny because I really feel like Kalinowski might be getting under his mask just a little bit over there. I think he's under his mask, Mark, and I think he's in Kevin Smith's head. Can you turn the mask around so we don't hear him? You know what to see? Un unfortunately, this, this is how we agreed to do Shut it up. beforehand Oops. in the schmodown. All right, so the final question for Kevin Smets, who's tied the match, by the way, and he can take a lead right now We're if tied. he hits this final one. All right, question number four. In Batman Begins, what type of martial arts employs theatrics and explosive powders that Ducard is teaching Bruce? You have to kill the green deception. That's ninjutsu. That is correct, yes. sir. Well done, Kevin Smets. Done. 13 to, to 11. At the end Land of who said it. his what? round two. Go spin who said it. You All saw right. I didn't who said it before. I won. <laughs> I think Mike is walking taller now that he's got the mask <laughs> Just on. a little bit. Yeah, he's going to go spin that wheel with probably a lot of power and force about, you know, the unfortunate happenings when he was a boy. <laughs> All right, here it comes. Actual Batman spinning the wheel. Round and round it goes, and it lands on Michael Keaton. I think my voice might be done. So for this match, uh -oh. In this round, I'm going to do the old thing. It's Alfred, who play, was played by Michael Caine. Okay, but he's taking Michael Keaton. I think he's trying to confuse himself. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, Michael Caine and Michael Keaton Kane never crossed paths. They did not. They did not. But we're here. I want to hear Michael Yes, sir, Michael Caine. Okay, so we're going right. Michael Caine. Here we he's go. He's going to stick with it. All right. Four questions in the round, round two. Okay, again, if you're just tuning into this match, welcome to a match. Uh, <laughs> Mike Kalinowski yeah. spun Michael Keaton, and he will be answering the Michael Keaton Batman questions in the As voice of Michael Mike Caine, who is not in any of the Keaton films. I but that doesn't mean that I didn't watch them. <laughs> because I did. They're I, very popular. I am so concerned that he's been wearing this mask out in like public, and like maybe has a yeah. little CTE from fighting real what? crime. I, I'm, I'm very concerned about this, but I think Mike looks ready to answer these questions. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready to answer these. <laughs> Your first question. Yes. In Batman 1989, which yeah. you were not in. No. My friend Michael Goh was, he played Alfred in that film. In Batman 1989, <laughs> the Joker's real name is Jack what? That's the question. Who's Jack Napier? That's my final answer. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. Yes. Mr. Kane, that is two points, and we find ourselves Thank tied. You very much. Smets has 13, Michael Kane has 13. Your second question. Do you? No, go ahead. In Batman Returns, at the end of the film, how many of Catwoman's nine lives does she have left, according to Selina? Well, this is a trick question, because she shocks and kills Max Shrek, so that uses her eighth life, but she has one left that she's got to save for next Christmas. 
The answer we're looking for is one. That is correct. I don't think it was much of a trick. Did you see Michelle Pfeiffer in that outfit? Michael, let me I, tell you something. I, I think you're a little out of her my age bits, range. My bits and my jangly bits got all up. Uh... Okay. All right. I, yeah. <laughs> I think his manager did not like that last statement. No. It's a different time and place. You're not in blame it on Rio anymore, Michael. <laughs> Your penultimate question in the category of Batman. That was a deep cut for everyone. I really was. Went over my head as well. In Batman 1989, Vicki Vale is a renowned photographer that made the cover of which magazine with one of her photos about the aftermath of a revolution? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> we, we stuffed Kane. <laughs> there was something. We stuffed Kane. Yeah. I actually, you know what? Doing the rewatch, I actually do yeah, know yeah. the answer. Yeah, yeah. Photographer Vogue, Cosmic, is on the coach of all Two? Uh, multiple choice. Multiple, multiple choice. choice. I've got the MC. All right. Is it A, Time, B, Us Weekly, C, National Geographic, or D, The New Yorker? I should have trusted my gut. I was supposed to do that. It's A, Time. Wouldn't it be great if it was Us Weekly, though? <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> should have oh. trusted the gut. What was Look at this revolution. They're just like us. That, that <laughs> <laughs> what? These are wonderful pictures of celebrities with yoga <laughs> mats. <laughs> All right, so that is one point that is in the favor of Michael Kane, and that is 16 to 13 now. Three-point lead for Kane as we get to the final question in yes. round number two in the category of the Batman films that, again, you were not in any of these. No, oh, we've already covered that. Did you audition for them? No, of course not. I would have gotten it. <laughs> guy's confident. But did you know that when I saw that film and watched Michael Keaton in The Little Boy, mm -hmm. the parents were murdered with the pearls, yeah. my tears echoed through the theater. Did that? Yeah, it did. Was it a packed theater, just you? It was also a big theater in New York. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his story they, checks it was out. Just, just, yeah. I just want to let well, it They did, go. my tears. Have you ever seen with my tears echo? Yeah, we'll probably just echo okay. on to the fourth my question. My tears are about to echo. Can we ask this next question, please? That's right. Michael Keaton is the category. The competitor is a very drunk Michael Caine. And the question is, which Oscar winner plays incarcerated mob boss Carl Grissom in Batman? I would like Mr. Caine to switch impressions. Oh, Jesus, what's his name? It's a... Uh... Oh, that's the guy who did the push-ups during the Academy Awards. Because I want you to handle this operation personally. I auditioned for that role. It's Jack Palance or Palance. It depends on where you are. I call him Jack Palance. Yeah, that but Jack Curly Hatch. from uh, the City Slickers is That's correct right. for two points. 18 to 13 as we head into round number Killing three. Five-point lead for whoever Mike Kalinowski is going to impersonate in round three as we head into the round that will determine the match. Here's how it works. Each player gets to choose three numbers from one to six. Each one corresponds to a mystery Batman category. The question difficulty increases, as does the point value. Two and then three and then five points for your final question. Uh, Mike, you are in the lead by five points. Yes. What are your three lucky numbers from one to six? One to, oh, jeez. Uh, one, two, five. One, two, and five, just like Monty Python. All right. I don't get that reference. And Kevin Smets. I'll take the other ones. I, I know I'll screw that up. In what so. order, though? Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. That's, that's a pro manager. It's like I haven't there. played in over yeah. a year. Uh, <laughs> I'll do th three. Yep. Six. And then four. And four. And four. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I noticed you were like, oh, what's the last one? I didn't know there was supposed to. I didn't know there was math during this match. This is a Batman match. Curveball right Ooh. there. So, Smets, you're going to be stealing you're your questions the first. Uh, Mr. It Freeze, is come on. It's going to be up to Kevin Smets to nice. match Mike Kalinowski here. But it is a five-point hole that Smets yes. finds himself in, but he is able to dig himself out of the holes like this many times in his life. And now he's facing a literal superhero in order to do it. So, Kevin the Smasher Smets. Winston will be asking you your series of questions. Your first one comes in the category of movie quotes. Oh, gosh. Love movie I quotes. got lots of quotes. Come on. Famous my movie. Everything was puns. Is it, it Mr. Freeze? Your two-point question in movie quotes. I knew Harvey Dent is the first line of dialogue in which Batman film? Dark Knight Rises. That is correct for two points, Kevin the Smasher Smets. That's right. All right so it's 18 to 15, and even Mr. Olympia, seven-time winner, is thrilled about that. So we move on to category six. Smets going a little out of order here, but he can tie the lead held by Arnold. Absolutely. We have come back to Rogue's Gallery. 
Rogues Gallery. So your three-point question in the category of Rogues Gallery. Kevin, in Batman Begins, Ra's al Ghul says, gentlemen, time to spread the word, and the word is what? Fear. Very close. The correct answer is panic. Panic. Ah, panic. Because panic. Looking ah. for panic. And so here's where we stand now. All Darn of a it. sudden, Kevin the Smasher Smets needs to hit his five pointer to extend the match and give us more delightful puns from Mr. <laughs> Maybe Freeze. Maybe I'll miss on purpose, though. His five <laughs> pointer. He'd <laughs> be doing us all a favor. The answer is seven. The check is in the mail. Yeah. His. His question now is going to come in the category of number four, Winston. What is that? Number four is bat technology. Bat technology. And, oh, what a question this five-point question is. It's going to be fun. Oh, God. <laughs> Smasher, in Batman 66, apart from shark repellent spray, name two other sprays that are in the bat copter. Did you ever think as a little kid one day you'd get to be an adult asking that question? No, I did not. It's a dream come true. Five. Your sprays, huh? Four. Three. Don't two. Draw, <laughs> Repeat the question. Okay, yeah. all right. First, can you do that? <laughs> In Batman 66, apart from shark repellent spray, name two other sprays that are in the bat copter. I always have a number of different sprays in my home. Two. You have to. Yeah. yeah got your Lysol. Oh, and wow. This is in your car as well. This has yeah. been quite the energy. Can I throw my lifeline? Four. Three. Uh, nose two, repellent and uh, one. penguin repellent. Okay, he said nose and penguin. Winston. And your winner by way of technical knockout. Mike, Mr. the killer, ah. Batman Kalinowski. That's right. Hey, hey, you. This was a wonderful time to get you it's the manta ray, the whale, the shark, and the barracuda. Wow, nice he's show. got all four sprays. He's got all four, four sprays. sprays, and he is our winner. And so uh, let's have Mike up there at the, uh, the question podium yes. for just a couple quick questions here. Uh, Mike, when did you know that you were such a gifted impressionist, almost exclusively in the world of Batman? I didn't. I just did it off, off the cuff. What are those days? You did not practice your Michael Caine. Well, I watched Batman films until I'm uh, blue in the face. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Do Jim Carrey. Do Jim Carrey. No, I think I do that one. And I tried to do someone else, but they said, no, don't do him either. Because it's, <laughs> it's not a good one. Okay. It doesn't, doesn't age. Because well. it would have insulted someone, and I didn't want to do that. The actor would have insulted him by sullying his voice. Do you have another question for me? Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Winston, I'll give you the last word here. For sure. I, I mean, you Mike, you, you're now the, the Batman exhibition winner. Um, I don't want to be the best man <laughs> exhibitionist, though. <laughs> no, that's a different I mean, I was going to ask a similar question of, do you have the full suit now to go along with the mask since you of are the Of course champion? I got a full suit. Who do you think I am? Of course I do. <laughs> got lots of me at home, and I'm building a new one for the new movie that's coming out, the, uh, the Twilight Fella. He's uh, Robert Pattinson. Yes, that's yeah. the one. He's in The Batman, which is in theaters March 4th. What a pro. He gives us a nice transition out of here. So that was Spike the Killer, Kalinowski, and a cavalcade of characters alongside of him in a very scintillating and fun Batman exhibition match, beating his rival slash sometimes buddy when they're fighting crime in Gotham together, Kevin the Smasher Smets. And so for Winston A. Marshall, what a pleasure it was having you on the desk here. And I will see you opening night of The Batman, right? Because uh, I can borrow that ticket. Again, is Molly not available? We'll talk or? after the show. For Winston, our competitors, our managers, and everybody here in our amazing crew at Skybound and the Schmodown, I'm Mark Ellis saying thank you and Rachel! Rachel!